Hey, my name is Michelle Crusoe. Welcome to my channel where you learn how to get hired and work in the film industry. So if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. I know this is a lot of info to take in, so be sure to download my cheat sheets. I'll include that in a link below. Special shout out and thank you to my friend and colleague, Jackie DeGraff, who I hit up to help me with this video. She has previously worked at an extras casting agency and she's provided a ton of valuable insight to help get you hired. I'm super excited to talk to you about how to be an extra, also known as background or BG. It's surprisingly easy to work on the set of your favorite TV show. Whether you're a fan or looking to gain some set experience, being an extra is a fantastic gateway to set life without prior experience. Find the extra casting agencies in your area. I'll post in the description below the extras casting agencies in Atlanta, Georgia. If you live in another state, a great place you can start is your state's film commission website. If you head a dead end there, check out the local entertainment publications in your area. I'm talking newspapers and magazines that will have coverage on what is filming or has filmed in your area. Then watch the credits on those shows to see who is listed as extras casting. You can also look up the shows online on IMDb or the International Movie Database. However, they typically list the extras casting director or associates instead of the company. You can also get great results by simply Googling extras casting in your state or city. So get scrappy and make your list of resources. Follow the steps. A casting agency will explain on their website how to submit to a casting call. Read them and get it right. Unless prompted, do not directly contact a casting director or assistant. There can be a lot of people applying and there's a system in place for good reason. The casting call post will list what looks they are casting for. Do not submit if you're not a good fit. There are plenty of opportunities, so please be patient if you don't fit the criteria for that particular call. Make sure you submit all the requested information and respond promptly for any additional request. This sounds simple, but a lot of people do not follow the directions. Have a good photo of yourself ready to send. You should be pictured chest up, no filters, no crazy angles, and it needs to be an accurate representation of how you look. You may also need to send a full body shot. Check the listing you're applying to. Have a friend use their phone to take these pictures of you. Applying to be an extra is more informal than applying for an acting role where you would need to submit a professional headshot. However, it does need to be a clear image with good lighting and an accurate representation of how you look. If you've had a haircut, shaved, or dyed your hair, it needs to reflect that, which is another reason not to invest in headshots for the purposes of being an extra. The extras casting agencies will likely need your measurements. That can be as simple as your weight or height, or it can be very specific like your shoe size, waist, chest measurements, etc. To be blunt, this isn't a time for insecurities. These numbers need to be accurate as wardrobe may only have certain sizes of those particular outfits needed for filming. If you lied about your measurements, you can't fit the wardrobe, well, you've pissed off wardrobe, made your casting director look bad, and you probably won't be on camera unless they can come up with a quick fix. Not to mention, you may not get booked with that casting director again. To wrap up step two of submitting, make sure it's thorough, follow the steps, and have an accurate photo of your beautiful self. Fantastic, you followed all the steps and received your booking email confirmation. For this section, I'll break up the info into chunks as there's a lot to cover, but don't worry, this section will ease any nerves and get you fully prepared for a day on set. Plan to arrive 30 minutes prior to the time you're asked to be there. You're on time if you're early, you're late if you're on time. How far away is the location? Will it be during any rush hours, school getting out, or a lunch break? If so, factor in more drive time. If you need a ride or public transportation, have even more time as you're dependent on more variables. There will be signs for extras parking. As you get close, you should see them or at least for crew parking. Your confirmation email should have a contact listed of who to contact on the day of filming. Have that number in your phone and call them if you need help or have any questions. Here's an example of what signs to look for. 
Once you park, there will likely be vans to take you to extras holding. If you're not sure, ask the van driver. Occasionally, there'll be a crew member in the lot directing folks where to go, and you can ask them too. If there are no vans, look for signs to extras holding or base camp as they are usually in the same spot. If there are only signs and no vans, those des destinations are within a short walking distance. Once you get to base camp, there'll be a lot of people running around, so I advise you to try and only talk to set PAs for directions, which will take some practice. Set PAs will always have a walkie, a light tool belt, if one at all, and they'll have some papers, pens, or sharpies on them. Or you can call the number the agency supplied for you. Okay, now you've arrived to extras holding. See why I told you to get there 30 minutes early? It may take you that long to simply get where you need to be checked in, and you need to be checking in at the time you're, you were requested to be there. To find where extras are being checked in, you'll want to look for where other extras are lined up. Or if you're the first one, someone will be at a table with a list of who to check in with extras vouchers for each person to fill out. You'll need to bring with you a valid government issued photo ID. So a driver's license, state ID, or passport, and you'll need to know your social security number. For minors, parents will need to register their child with GDOL or the Department of Labor. You'll need the child's registration number, date of birth, social security number, and to be safe, their birth certificate as well. Next, you're on to the works. Now that you've found the crew, they should be directing you to your next steps. However, it could be their first day too. So be sure to ask where to go to be seen by wardrobe, hair, and makeup. You have to be seen by someone in these departments to be approved as camera ready. There can be a lot of extras and not enough crew directing. So take some initiative, ask your fellow extras too, and get through the works together. It can be difficult to navigate base camp, which is where all the working trucks are. So here's an example of what a wardrobe truck looks like. They will typically have wardrobe racks nearby and a clear sliding door at the back. Clothing, hair, and makeup. The casting agency will let you know further details about your look for filming. Typically, you need to be hair and makeup ready and bring your wardrobe options. Don't worry if you aren't highly skilled in these areas, you'll be seeing a crew member from each of the departments. They will make adjustments as necessary. Don't stress about the clothing either. If the show takes place during modern times uh, and say it's seen like a cafe, you already have options that work. Please be sure to bring two to three options, avoid bright colors, especially white, busy or too tight patterns like thin stripes, and anything with a band or logo. Camera sees differently than our eyes, and those are types of clothing that appear much more strongly and therefore distracting. Also, bands and logos come with copyright, so it's best to avoid any conflicts there. In addition to your wardrobe, check the weather and bring appropriate attire. You may be stuck in extras holding in the tent and it may be freezing, super hot, or raining. So if you're on stage, the temperature can also be chilly on the outskirts as the stage lights really heat up a set. In between setups, you may want a warming jacket to keep you comfortable. More than likely, you will not have a chance to eat when you arrive to extras holding, so plan on already having eaten a meal. I recommend bringing a reusable water bottle and some snacks for the day to bring with you. There will be a water jug for you to fill up at. Depending on the budget of the show, there may be some snacks specified for extras versus crew. Don't assume any food you see is for extras. Please be sure to ask the casting associate or PA when you get there. If you're working longer than six hours, you'll be fed a meal. A length of day for an extra can vary from as short as four hours to 18 hours. Don't bother asking how long you're gonna be there. It's impossible to predict with all the variables of filming. Although the average length of day for an extra will be between eight to 12 hours. Once you get settled at extras holding, and gone through all the works, hair, makeup, and wardrobe, you'll likely get called to set, or in some cases, you won't get called to set at all. Don't take this personally. It could be as simple as they are overbooked or are not making the scene in which they need extras. You may have brought some nicer personal items with you that you don't want stolen. Although there may be some security, I highly recommend having a lock for your personal belongings. You will not have time to bring them back to your car. Once you're on set or in extras holding, you're expected to stay there. 
Since there's the possibility that you may not get called to set at all, bring something that is quiet or ideally silent to work on. Extras holding may be within earshot of filming, in which case you'll need to be silent during takes. So bring a book, magazine, or device with a charger or extra battery that can be silent. How much you get paid to be an extra will depend on how long your workday is and what is the budget of the show. You're guaranteed to be paid for eight hours. Typically for eight hours of work, the pay is around $80. For an average length of day, you'll be making in the low hundreds. You can get pay bumps if they use your car or if you're selected for a more featured role. It is extremely rare to get a speaking line, but once in a while that will happen, you'll get a bump in pay for that. If your goal is to eventually get more speaking roles, you'll need to get an agent and join SAG, the Screen Actors Guild. As I mentioned earlier, you will fill out a voucher for payment. Make sure you get checked out by the PA or extras casting associate and get a copy of your voucher. You can expect a check in the mail within six to eight weeks or less. If there's ever a pay dispute, contact the payroll company listed on your voucher. Do not contact the extra casting company as they do not handle payroll. Being on set, especially for the first time, is super exciting. However, please keep in mind you have been booked for a job and you need to be professional. Do not speak to the actors or ask for autographs or pictures. You'll want to stay quiet at all times, including between takes and camera setups. There can be a lot of extras on set and sound, even whispers, can get out of control and the crew needs to be able to hear one another. When you get to set, be sure to silence your cell phone. You don't want to be screwing up any takes. You'll be directed what to do by a PA or AD or an assistant director. The crew will call rolling, but you need to wait for action or background action before you perform whatever action you've been given. Once cut is called, you'll return to your starting position and you may even hear the PA announce back to one, which means the same thing. If you happen to be near camera, do not look in camera. If you do this and the crew sees it, you'll likely be replaced. Remember to be as natural as possible and have fun. That's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear about any stories you have when you book your days on set. Please comment below and share this video with anyone interested in being an extra. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on set.